Hey everyone, it's Wednesday the 21st of February and it's 5 to 2 in the afternoon. Right, today's video. An unboxing video. I don't often do these but I've got three things here that I need to open up. Um, I know what's in this one. This is a box full of laptops. I bought a job lot of laptops on eBay. I'm still waiting for two. I also bought a pair of um, Omnibooks. HP Omnibooks. Um, I actually know what's in this as well and I know what's in the box on the floor. <laughs> but before we get into that, a um, little update on the Compaq Desk Pro. I've tried the floppy drive. Works perfectly fine. I didn't even take the drive out to service it or anything. I just found some floppy disks, threw one in and it reads it perfectly fine. It's a perfectly working retro PC for 60 quid. I can't complain about that, really, can I? Um, not that I would. That is, um, to me, a very good bargain. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for a couple of passes. And actually, I won another retro desktop on eBay. Found that it's actually an upright tower, not a flat tower. Even though I always say I preferred the flat towers, but I just I couldn't resist. It was buy it now, eighty-five pounds or best offer. So I put an offer of seventy-two quid in, because that was the option that eBay gave me. So I just hit that as random, <laughs> not really thinking, you know, knocking almost fifteen quid off that it, the seller would actually accept it, and he did. So we've got another desktop on the way. Probably, I think it's about the same time period as that one, as the uh, Desk Pro. Anyway, so, someone's reusing Amazon packaging, which is fine. But I bought myself a Windows 95 disk with um, USB support. That was a good, sh good shot. <clears throat> um, is there anything else I want to update you on? No. No, I think that was it. Um, oh, depending on this job lot of laptops, you know, how well they've been packed. They've arrived, which is a good thing. Um, the seller's got another job lot that I've got my eye on. Only because I want the uh, Lenovo ThinkPads. That's the only reason I want that particular job lock. So we'll get this opened up. I'll do a separate video on um, testing these. Stored somewhere cold. Are they? Uh, oh, box is split. So there's a split down that side. I might put cover on that one as well. Make life a bit easier. Well, they're not individually wrapped in bubble wrap. They're just wrapped in cellophane. Um, apparently, these will be sold as untested. So. Yeah, basically just sold as is as a job lock. So the first one we have on the top here is an Acer. I'm just going to put the extra lights on, I think. We've got a hinge cover missing. That doesn't bother me. Cover is missing from that. I knew that. That was in the photos. A bit scratched up on the bottom there. I don't know how well that's showing up, but it is a bit beat up. It is actually quite a beat up laptop. Um... <clears throat> I'm just looking at that, just reading what was written on it. I'm guessing this might have been a kid's laptop. Rhiannon with a little heart, Beyonce heart. I'm guessing that's the singer Beyonce. A few keys missing. Does it work? No idea. Like I said, these are all just sold as is. 
can't imagine, you know, a kid owning a laptop with it getting that scruffy. It might. I need somewhere just to stand these. <clears throat> right, what have we got next? They're upside down here because I've opened the box upside down to uh, hide my address. So we've got an HP. What was this one? I forgot. <laughs> Already forgotten. An Acer. So we've got an Acer. A little HP. This looks um, relatively modern. <clears throat> it's an i3. That'd be a nice little one to... Uh, I think someone may have been in there because... That's not clipping down. Now the screw's missing. There's a definite maybe. I think the screws are actually missing. Um, but I think all the hard drives have been removed anyway. Could be a, I think that would be quite a nice little laptop to get up and running if uh, I can. So we've got USB 2s though from the looks of it. Yeah. Beats Audio though. So, the really best you want to look at. I'm going to have to dig through all my bloody... Um, Power supplies now, and I hope I've got one that fit. So this is like this is one of the oldest here, an old Advent. It does look complete. What's it like under here? Up oh, there. I'm trying to find a screen catch. Got one key missing. It doesn't look too bad here. Someone's peeled all the stickers off, and I do mean all of them. Including the Windows and Processor sticker. <laughs> They're all gone. Someone obviously didn't like them. It's quite weighty. That's three, isn't it? Yeah. Here's number five, which is a Sony Vio. That's one of the reasons I bought this, because I want another Sony. Windows XP, yeah, Windows XP Home Edition. I'm hoping the other Sony Vio adapter I've got, when I can find it, will fit this. <laughs> um, oh, this is really cold. I've got one stick of RAM in it, and I've got the RAM cover missing. What's it like on the inside? A very dirty keyboard. Hang on a minute. Someone's put stickers on them. Oh, these stickers. Oh, two keys missing there. Other than that, it looks a bit rough. <laughs> and the last one. It's an apple. I actually forgot the Apple one was in there. To be honest, I couldn't remember what was in this box. So we've got an Apple here. Come on, Apple. Maybe won't it? <laughs> ah. I like the look of that. That's technically my third Apple laptop. Don't ask me what Apple it is. I have no idea. I don't know much about Apple products. One of my three or four Apple chargers should fit that. that is, I actually quite like this stuff. I can see why people liked Apple laptops and things. They're actually quite nice looking. Shh, I don't always compliment Apple. <laughs> don't tell everybody. Normally I'm slating Apple. But as I've said before, I just don't like the company. I haven't got anything against their products, it's just the company itself I dislike. <clears throat> right, so that's that one. One more box to go. Um, I should have bought a bloody battery through for this, I'll get it in a minute. This should be a barricade lamp. 
Well, that's got to be because apart from those other two laptops, this is the only other thing I'm expecting. Um, and those laptops are not going to go in a box this small. There we go. It's from an e bar that I've bought from before. <coughs> According to his uh, listings, the lamps he just put up, he's still got a few up there, um, are the last ones. I don't know if it's the last ones ever. You know, I don't know if he's been actually giving up collecting or what, but here we go. It's a red Dorman Smith uh, Traffy lamp. And technically I've got one up on the shelf, but it's um, not an English version. It's not the American version either. Um, so it's not got the Dorman Smith reflective sticker on it. It's got Beisterfeld written on it, if I pronounce that correctly. So that's one of the reasons I um, stuck a cheeky bit, on, bit in on this one. Because this one is actually the UK version, basically. I think Beisterfeld, I think that might be German. I'm not sure. If it, I can't remember now. I did know. One day in the future, you know, I'll remember what it is, and I won't even be thinking about it, it will just show up now. I actually do know it worked, because the guy that sells these, he puts little vid videos up, uh, along with the photos, because apparently you can do that now with eBay, which I didn't know. So there we go. I'm not going to pause the camera, because I know exactly where the battery is, it'll only be like <clears throat> 10 seconds, if that. Maybe a bit longer. I've got tub to move. <laughs> I forgot was there. Might get good battery. Okay, so maybe longer than ten seconds. <laughs> I got one. Right, let's have a little look see. a lot of, at least the collectors that sell the lamps on eBay, they always leave them in the on position. Although he may not have this one. A light sensor? No. Okay, okay, I have got a key for one of these lamps here. Let's just press the button. Flashed, so I know there's life in it. There we go. I thought for a moment I might have had a photo selling that, but it wasn't. Screw the bolt back in, and there we go. Just turn these lights off, it'll show up a bit better. Um. Well, that would suggest there's a bit of a dirty battery contact in there. I'll have to take a circuit out and give it a clean. It's working. switch. <laughs> I don't want the party lights on. Not that I actually have a party. It smells kind of smoky. Uh, and these circuits always do that. bulb itself looks okay, so yeah, these contacts are a bit filthy. Noise alert. I 
should have some safety squints on really. Shinier than they were, but they still look dull. Just pop that back in and see if that's actually any better. I think it is better. I've just been a little bit or something on there that was causing it to flash like that. But, uh, it does seem to be flashing a lot more stable now. Yep. I thought that was bubble wrap but it's not, it's just some wrapped up cellophane. Awesome! It's got, you know, some sun damage, it's a bit faded. Some scratches on the top, you know, it's, it's a used item, I don't expect mint. And it does drive me up the wall when you sell something used like this and people still expect it to be mint condition. No, it doesn't work like that, you know, it's, it's a used item. Maybe it's just me, maybe I, you know, just expect beating up when I buy something used. Brilliant. The only <coughs> Excuse me. The only problem is I'm running out of space up on that shelf. <coughs> but I have finally decided on what the free cabinet I acquired last year <laughs> has been sat in the hallway getting in the way. Um, I finally decided what I'm going to put on that. I'm going to put some of these on there. The rarer and probably the more interesting ones. Because I'm also running out of space. Well, actually, I've ran out of shelf space in the outside cupboard, believe it or not. Despite how deep that cupboard is and how many shelves I've got that cover the whole wall, floor to ceiling. They're all full of lamps, including on the floor. So everything else I've been buying has just sort of been thrown in there for now because I haven't got the shelf space. So I thought I could sort of arrange some on that cabin. I don't think you've actually ever seen it, have you? It's just, it's just standing there. I fitted a light in the top of it mainly because it was just an LED light that I bought new from Lidl's and never used until now. But what I'm going to do, as I'm um, going to put a Lego City back in this lounge, so a lot of stuff is moving. I've got two display cabinets on this wall. They're going in the bedroom. That cabinet I'm going to stand here. May have to move my clock further up the wall though. Nope, there's no maybe about it. I will. <laughs> yeah. I was going to just stand it there. I was thinking on this wall, but that's not going to go under the shelf. Or I could angle it up that corner because. What? Hello. <laughs> Once I've got the Lego City tables built, I've got all the wood for it. Well, apart from what I need to make the legs with. Um, the stereo I've got over there is going to go on a shelf underneath it, and Nemo's old bed's going to go under there as well. Ah. But then I'm going to need somewhere to put the cat tree, which is going to have to go up that corner. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Yeah, the city's not going to be as big as it was either. 
but I'm hoping with all the wood that I've currently got over at my mum's in the workshop, maybe enough to build the table and board up these windows as well. I'm hoping. I'm sorry buddy, the keyboard's in the way. He likes to lay in this area. My keyboard's in the way at the minute, so if I actually put that on the floor, and I slide the keyboard around, he may decide, no, he's going to jump off instead. Them. Anything I don't want, I'm just going to put back on eBay. Maybe as a job lot. I definitely want to keep the apple out of this job lot. Is there any downside? You buy a job lot of anything. Whether well, you're a die cast collector into your Lego or, you know, whatever you buy a job lot of, you're always going to have stuff in there that you either don't want or that you've already got, so you've got to get rid of it again. But, as I've got various adapters and things, and I should be able to power most of these up, I should be able to sound fairly easy, because I keep... I, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'll try that again. I'm able to uh, test them. And, uh, this is, can I go back to the listing? back to my eBay. I know the back of my head is so interesting to look at, isn't it? That's what he likes to do. That's where he loves to lay with me. Don't you? What's your favourite laying spot? Snowy is in the bed on the cat tree. For a change. I've got offers here on a couple of uh, PCs I was watching as well, but I'm really not sure. and I don't know how well you can see them from there. There is what this looks like a portable DVD player. I might just assume you in a bit that might be a bit easier. Might my might 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 and operate the camera properly. <coughs> Pardon me, that was <coughs> not intentional. Ah. Yeah, anyway, um, there is a tablet PC there. There's what looks like a portable DVD plan. Then you've got one, two, three, four, five laptops. These two at the front are the um, Lenovo ThinkPads, which I'm interested in. And I bet, just because these are the ones I want, they're not going to work. That's how it usually works for me. <laughs> Don't know why. I suppose you could call it Sod's Law. It's a close-up of one of them. I actually have no idea how old these ThinkPads are. I just wanted them. And there's ThinkPad number two, which I think they're both the same. I could be wrong, but I think they're both the same. Yeah, that is a supportable DVD player. Which I'm not going to need. There's the tablet. That's a medium laptop. That's an HP. And then we've got another HP. Two HPs that look identical as well. Although I have discovered that just because two laptops look identical don't mean they are. Because the model numbers could be very, very different. Uh, I'm trying to find my... We zoom doofy. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> A cameraman I am not. Yeah, so that's literally what I've just tipped the bike now on. Is the postage? I don't know how the postage is this cheap. 
it's only £5.50 but that's going to be quite a heavy box and if he posts it via Royal Mail which I think is what he did with that one it's going to cost a lot more than that unless he's hiding part of the uh, postage cost within the purchase price it might be why the job lot is 50 quid yes 49.99 I think it's even if I could get a tablet working that would still make it worth it I think and portable DVD player I don't think is worth anything not really you know if I took it to a car boot sale I might get a few quid for it if I was lucky right I might be recording another video today because I'm eager to check these laptops out <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to uh, make some space in the kitchen because I've got desktops all over the place in there at the minute. Um, while I'm here, I suppose I could show you the uh, the desktop that I purchased this morning. <laughs> I, honestly, I did not expect that he would um, accept that offer. Vintage Beige 90s Desktop Computer CPU, that's what it's, the title is. There it is. I'm interested to know what that is between the two CD drives. Yes. There is a bunch of upgrade cards. I can't see exactly what they are in the photos. There is a GPU up here as well. Um, but I am going to guess it's a sound card, perhaps a dial-up modem, and an Ethernet adapter. I'm just guessing it's just got the usual stuff in it. Um, it seems to be an unbranded machine. Sold as untested. So, I guess I've taken a gamble again. <laughs> you know, there's no fun in it unless you um, take that gamble. Obviously, you'll have a better look at all of these when they arrive, but here's the two uh, HP Omnibook laptops as well. I'm just going to read the uh, description on this because I can't remember if it said one or both. Both power on. That's good. Uh, I thought only one did. So, both power on. Hard drives have been removed, battery still installed and Ethernet chip. No further tests were carried out. Comes with one power cable. Listing as spares, repairs, so no returns accepted, which is fair enough. You're basically just buying as is, aren't you? It's sold as is. Which uh, sometimes can shoot you in the foot as a buyer. <laughs> um, in that what you buy may not be repairable or too costly to repair or something like that you know but, uh, other times like with that compact test pro you get lucky you gonna pick a laptop no he was trying to get the heart in the corner of the picture of this one. <laughs> That's what he was pouring at. There's like tiny little heart in the corner. Oh, there's another picture of a laptop there with one in. I don't know what that means. What does it mean, Smudgy? Well, I just clicked on it, so it does something. But I'm not sure what it does. Hmm. Anyway, that's it for the video. So, I need to shoot off a thing. I've got to go to uh, QD, so I'm going to do all that first. Um, and then I'll probably shoot video number two, testing these laptops. So if the date sounds the same and the time is different, then you know. <laughs> you know that I've just recorded them on the same day. Um, 
<clears throat> when I think about it, I don't even know why I actually started, you know, with the time and date when I uh, start my videos. It's just something I've been doing for years. It's just kind of stuck. <laughs> so yeah, the time and date at the start of the video is the day and the time of recording. I suppose it makes for a good diary, doesn't it? You know, when you look back on your videos, I can just start the video and know when it was recorded. Anyway, I'm rambling, so thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Um, if you did like what you've seen and you want to see more random videos like this, I don't just do computers, I do all sorts of other stuff. I'm, I've got too many hobbies. <laughs> you know, please hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. It helps me out, helps the channel grow. And of course, it's easier for you to follow me. Um, and if you do, remember to hit the uh, little notification bell to ensure you get a notification every time I upload a, vi a video. And uh, if you check the video description down below the video, there will be links to my other two YouTube channels. If you like gaming, I've got a gaming channel. And I've actually got a channel specifically for the Lego hobby. So if you like that, feel free to check those out. I've got a Discord server which was on this screen, but I moved it over here. Uh, so feel free to uh, join there as well. And uh, come have a chat with us. And I've got a Twitch channel, which I will link to as well. Now they've got a webcam. I am trying to uh, sort out a stream. I would like to stream at least once every weekend, at least. So, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.